And I'm joined now in this Europa Saal studio session by Marco Spiekermann, the Senior Vice President of the FOFC program at Bosch. Welcome. Thank you very much. Um, thank you so much for being here. I wanted to ask you right now, you are Senior Vice President of the SOFC mm. Project House. Can you tell everyone listening out there, what does FO SOFC stand for? Of course, SOFC stands for our stationary fuel cell program at Bosch, which is based on the solid oxide fuel cell technology. That is actually where the abbreviation truly comes from. Now, our SOFC systems are highly innovative products indeed, actually, and they are designed for decentral energy supply. They primarily produce electric energy, but also thermal energy, which comes at very well usable temperature levels for both heating and cooling. Uh, we are planning for a full international market entry as of 2024 with an initial production volume of 200 megawatts that we will scale in the years after. Um, you said that the product is a highly innovative energy, energy system. How does it work? And, and how can we use it? Of course. Well, uh, as a matter of fact, as I said, um, the machines are really designed for decentral energy supply, so they truly support the trend of moving away from these large, central, very fixed power generation towards really decentral, easy to scale, flexible power generation right where the, the energy is actually needed. Now, of course, uh, our machines are fully designed to operate on hydrogen. So they are fully aged to ready also when we hit the markets in 2024. Yet at the same time, um, for the time as hydrogen is not yet fully available, our machines are what we like to call fuel flexible. So they can also be operated with natural gas or biomethane. That's also why I like to think of them, not only as a technology that works in the future, but truly a future technology that already works today. Now, when it comes to power generation, of course, it's always fully about efficiency. Now, our machines operate at an electrical efficiency of more than 60%, and if you count in the heat that is generated as well, you come to an overall system efficiency of 85 to 90%. If you compare that to the average gas power plant in Germany, which only so to say, operates around about 45 to 50 percent efficiency, you can already tell that there is a big difference and that our machines make much more efficient use of whatever fuel goes in, be it now natural gas, be it biomethane, or of course in the future than hydrogen. I think you said your market entry is planned for 2024. So I'd love to know, tell us a little bit more about what it's going to be like when you finally enter the market. Of course. Um, well, as a matter of fact, our machines are designed for a, a high number of different use cases. Now, that can be in commercial buildings, industrial buildings, this can be in data centers, that can even go into maritime applications. And truly interesting it becomes when you think of them as part of entire microgrids, where they can be scaled really into the megawatt range uh, as, uh, or in form of uh, virtual power plants or actually also physical power plants. Now, we are already running today uh, a lot of pilot projects with these machines, one of which is in the city of Bamberg, which is in Bavaria, actually at the central bus station. Uh, we run the machine there jointly with our cooperation partner, which is the Stadtwerke Bamberg. And there we have one machine that is today producing uh, electrical energy for 24 person households close by. And we also use the heat actually to keep a bakery next door really warm and cozy. Now, as I said, we are uh, planning for a full international market entry in 2024, initial production volume 200 megawatts per year. Now that equates on an annual basis uh, for, uh, to around 400,000 four-person households that we can really supply with climate-friendly energy. The team that is actually really uh, developing and assembling these SOFC systems uh, had grown to around about 500 people by the end of uh, 2021, both in Germany, Japan, the US, so it's really an international team. And it also shows us that actually uh, this whole development is really driving the creation of new jobs in this whole evolving new hydrogen economy. Um, we are also part of the uh, European IPCI hydrogen program uh, as one of 62 companies that have been selected by the uh, German Federal Ministry for Economic Affairs and uh, Climate Action. Um, and uh, truly to, to sort of say sum it up a little bit, we very strongly believe that our SOFC systems are one of many puzzle pieces to really succeed the energy transition, so to really make the energy event happen. And I think what's truly important now is that really uh, on an international level, all stakeholders, really from politics over to gas providers, over to the industrial OEMs that produce these systems, actually that really make use of hydrogen, produce hydrogen, that they really come together and make it happen. Absolutely. Coming together and making it happen is what the BETD22 and any BETD is all about. Many thanks to Marcus Spiekermann, the Senior Vice President of SOFC, for joining me today in the studio session.